Hi everybody, back with another video. This video is gonna be about living on or off base and what we chose, um, or on and off post uh, with military bases. Uh, for, for the Army, it's post instead of base. So we chose to live on post and I just have a couple of pros and cons to living on or off base or post. If you're interested, stay tuned. Watch if you wanna subscribe, mother. Hey! Hit that like button. Hit the bell, man. Hit that like button. Hit the bell, man. We chose to live on base. Um, we just PCS to to Fort Bragg and we moved from Virginia DMV area and we are not um, familiar with the area. So we were talking about buying a home, but we chose to live on post um, because we just didn't have time to look around. Uh, the houses that we did see, they weren't what we were looking for. And also with my husband's career, we didn't know whether we were gonna stay here for three years or less than that. So that was something to consider when moving uh, to this area. We live on base. This is gonna be the Linden Oaks community on Fort Bragg. Uh, we didn't have any type of weight, none whatsoever. Uh, we called and they put us on the list and they gave us an address and we were just here to get the keys. We had probably no, uh, close to no security deposit and I think it was just our pet fee which was like $300 but they do have um, some type of security deposit however it's not like when you're renting off base and you have to put down a large deposit like the first month's rent it's not like that so when living on on base uh, or off base the military uh, gives you a uh, amount which is called BAH basic housing allowance so it has to do with your rank location um, and years of service that you're in the military you know with this area the BAH was pretty reasonable to um, off base so uh, my husband's a senior enlisted non-commissioned officer so we live in senior enlisted um, duplexes in Linden Oaks community on Fort Bragg. Uh, when we lived in Virginia, the BAH was completely different. Um, it was almost double some of the apartments that we looked at simply because of the cost of living for the area. Everyone knows that Virginia DMV, it is extremely high. So for example, if we had an apartment off base that was $1,400 a month, the military gave for example, $2,300 a month because of the area. Or we could live on base, but it's pros and cons to that as well when you live in that area, in the Virginia area, because the traffic is a monster. So it's either save money or kind of sacrifice the quality of life. So we, when we moved here, we chose to not sacrifice a quality of life, even though it is not the same area. But we also understood that, okay, if we move on base, the uh, military was going to take our full BAA. Um, we do love um, living in this community because it is quite spacious, nice homes, um, and the service as far as maintenance is great. So some pros to live on a base, it is, you know, no large security deposit when you move on base. Uh, we, you do have a pet fee, uh, extra sense of security, you know, because the gate is guarded and you know just not anybody is coming on base they do monitor what we use as far as electricity um, and if we go over whatever that percentage is we do have to pay out of pocket but only when it um, goes up to a certain amount and then you have to pay that amount if you use less electricity than they necessarily categorize you to use then you'll get a check back however we're not really huge on making sure all the lights are off which i'm i am a totally guilty guilty as charged but we're conserving energy and things like that so that that is something great about living on base but you do have to pay for of course cable internet um you know extra things like if you want a gate 
because your your gates or your backyard is not gated you know living off base you do have a little bit more freedom as far as you know what you can do to a home uh, based on whatever community you live in or if you have a landlord maybe there's things that you can do versus what you can't do on base now you can paint on base but you do have to paint it back however i didn't paint anything because as you can see the color of the wall it's not white so i'm pretty okay with it a lot of people they like to paint and do extra stuff i'm just not gonna paint it back when i leave so i'm not gonna put myself in a situation where I have to paint it back um, I'm good with the color we got going on in here um, and also another thing uh, Corvius which is I think the the community the community manager of on base housing because I know everything is privatized now um, you get to choose your neighborhood based off of your rank and how many children you have so we have three children and we got a uh, senior listed duplex home with four bedrooms which I will do a house tour uh, on base house tour in the next video I'm still working on that so stay tuned for that um, another con to living on Linden Oaks per se because it is on base but we don't live on main post uh, Fort Bragg has their main post area and then we live off base but on post. So this is considered on post but we live not on the main post. Uh, which is a con for me simply because I work from home and sometimes I want to run to the grocery store um, at lunch or commissary on base and I can't because it takes about 20 minutes to get there from where we live in Linden Oaks. And you know, depending on the commute time, which usually is just 20 minutes, it's not like a huge commute time. Um, but you know, it's 20 minutes to get there, 20 minutes to get back, and then you have to shop in between. You know, with my schedule throughout the week, it's just not conducive to going on base. And I usually resort to going right off base. There is shopping centers right off base, like a Food Lion, Family Dollar. Um, in a Walmart not too far away. So usually I resort to going uh, close by versus on main post. Or, you know, usually what I do is I'll just text my husband, hey, pick this up. I need this from the commissary. And usually, you know, there's ways to get around not living on main post. Another con I would say is just gas. I mean, it is 20, 20 minutes away. I work from home so I don't really spend a lot of gas but my husband has a commute cost involved um, but it's not ridiculous um, compared to where we just moved from uh, we lived in the DMV area my husband worked ugh, at the Pentagon and we lived like very far we lived like 50 miles away um, because I was close to my parents but his commute was out of control he had it usually took about two hours to get to work in the morning and two to three hours to get home and this is daily so although our rent was was okay and we got a decent amount of BAH we did sacrifice because the commute was just ridiculous so I can say this area is much better um, as far as the commute goes so I, I guess I wouldn't put that high on a con uh, list as you know I would put it if we live where we're in Virginia where we moved from so again you know with choosing a new home on base uh, you know there's a lot of factors to consider and again one of our factors of living on base was you know the space the security um, the nice area uh, and they're pretty new homes and of course based off of our children and my husband's rank, uh, we did get a nice place to live with no wait times. Um, I know now that, you know, on their website, which I will link it down below, they do have specials if you go and maybe you stay in a lower enlisted uh, or junior enlisted housing and you're senior enlisted where they give you breaks as far as 
not taking your whole BAH, which is a very new thing. So even though you live on base, you not, you might not necessarily sacrifice your whole BAH depending on whatever company is or the property manager of that base check out and call ahead and see if they have any type of specials or if they have anything online. Just to wrap up this video, we chose to live on base simply because it was just better for our family. We wanna buy a home, but we're not sure if we're gonna live here very long. We're not sure what the future may hold because my husband does have a very long, well, he has a couple of years in, in the military and he's making it a career. So we don't necessarily know if we're gonna buy a home here. Um, and we didn't really know the community, the area, so we chose to live on base. But to each its own, we might not live on base at our next duty station. Um, but here, this is what we wanted to do. So really, it just depends on your preference, um, how many children you have, what rank your husband, is and also BAH whether you know maybe they don't have specials through the property management on base maybe you find an apartment that is uh, nice and cheaper than the full amount of what the military does allow for you to um, pay for a home every month so it's really personal preference but this was the best for our family Stay tuned for the next video because I'll be doing an on-base housing tour um, just so you can see what Linden Oaks, you know, senior listed four bedroom house looks like. There's a lot of, you know, YouTube um, house tours on Fort Bragg and I believe there's one on Linden Oaks and I don't think there's any difference, absolutely no difference between junior listed and senior listed housing in Linden Oaks. So, you know, you know, you you can tell based off of, you know, what's on YouTube right now. I don't see a difference. So I will be posting that house tour soon. And again, I see no difference between Linden Oaks junior listed and senior listed. I think it's all the same. I think that you know there's just duplexes versus fourplexes and I believe the junior listed have more windows than the senior listed so I, I really don't see a difference in between the two but you know you guys can tell based off of what's online and what I'll show you in the next video but if you have any questions regarding living on post and living off post you know, feel free to contact me and I can answer them to the best of my ability. Again, guys, I'm no expert on, you know, on-base housing, off-base housing, BAH, non-BAH, whatever. Um, I'm just giving you the knowledge that I learned moving from Virginia to North Carolina and this being our first place we lived on base and why we chose to live on base versus living off base. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.